Praise God. Hallelujah. Um, with Jesus' joy, I want to welcome all my listeners and viewers from across the globe. It's another time for us to explore in the life of God's Word. This is the Word of Unique Relevance Christian Fellowship. And um, it's another time, Destiny's Crow time, to look into the mirror of God's word. Like I said in the two series we've run in this very year, 2021, based on the theme God gave us, a year of ever increasing brightness. I'm continuing in that very course, and by the grace of God, I have a new thing that God lay in my heart that I will be sharing from. And I want to urge every of my listeners and viewers across the globe, wherever you are watching us from, I want you to be enthusiastic, have a unique interest in everything that I'm going to be saying, rather not me, but the God who I'm representing, all the things you are going to hear me say, I want you to treasure them and don't just hear them, but start applying them, start working with them. Uh, because this year, 2021, from what I've said earlier on in the two series we've run, is result oriented. 2021, God said to us as a ministry, that is a year of result, is a year of solution. It is a year of action. So all the things you are hearing, I want to beg you not just to hear them, but start acting on them. And as you do, you are going to see yourself in another dimension before 2021 runs up. Because it's a year that God is so mostly depending on man. He is so much interested in what he must depend on us. To accomplish. So, with Jesus' joy, I welcome you to today's Destiny Group, being the last Saturday in the month of January. Before I will go into the message of today, I will just like you from wherever you are tuning from. Um, know our YouTube channel, Empreman and Mekizedek. For those of you that have not uh, subscribed to the tune, I want to beg you. To subscribe to that very channel, Emperor Man and Mekizedek is the channel name where you can connect to us so that you will be part of what God is saying wherever you are watching us from. Can we just take a word of prayer? Faithful Father, we give you praise. It's another awesome time to mirror from your word. Lord, help us to see with your eyes. Grant us insight from your word. Lord, help us not to just be hearers, but help us to be doers of all the things, all the secrets, all the revelation and knowledge that you will be passing across to us today. Let your spirit, the spirit of creation, have his way in our midst. Thank you, faithful Father, for hearing our prayers. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Um, today's topic, by God's grace, I will be sharing on the topic, creating from your brightness. Creating from your brightness. I have introduced the theme for this year, Earlier in the two first series we've run, and um, I, I told us that this year, all that we'll be exploring as a ministry is all about light, it's all about brightness. And I said something that God told me that the realm of ever increasing brightness is the realm where He Himself positioned to share power with men. Now, all the people that will understand that very revelation and key into it, there is something that is going to be born from them, a solution. 
to a particular problem that this generation and this age is facing. And in line with that, in line with what I just said, that's why in the place of waiting, God told me, I said, that this is what I will be sharing from today. By the grace of God, uh, this very course I'm introducing today, I'm going to run it throughout the month of February that is coming. And I want to beg you to follow along. Creating from the brightness, from your brightness in the top. Creating from your brightness. Uh, the first point I want to make from my part met here, what I said, I said that creation have, has not finished. That creation have not finished. God didn't suspend creation after he created. Like is a general knowledge, all of us believe that it took God six days. I'm not going to talk about that. Maybe in subsequent teaching, I will go into that. It took God six days to create. Then after that six days, from the course of what I'm teaching, God didn't end creation. God didn't suspend creation. But something happened, and that's what I will be exploring. After God created man, God ceased from creating. But that doesn't imply that creation has, has ended. Creation didn't stop after God created man. But what happened, I, let, let me bring it closer, in the realm of man. Many man fought, those of us that belong to government sector or those that are civil servants, we know that there is something called retirement. Now, after you have worked to a certain number of years, uh, like down here in, in Nigeria, uh, if you are up to 60, 70 years in a certain kind of job, uh, you will retire. That's by age. Then in service year, they say 30 years. If you put in 30 years in, in any service you are rendering to the nation or to the state or to the local government, you will retire. Now, what happens during creation by revelational insight? After God created man, what happened was that God retired from working. Now, reason being that God believed that he will continue what he has started in man. Hallelujah. I want somebody that is hearing me to start paying attention. The essence of what God is revealed to me all about 2021 is to attach to for people, for man, to start attaching value to himself. So many people are looking down on themselves. So many of us, you don't know that there is a potential, there is something, there is an ability inside of you. Hallelujah. So God retired from creation because of man. And uh, let me say something striking. Uh, most of the times, we do rejoice and talk about the Sabbath day. And I want to help whosoever that is listening, watching, all my viewers uh, and all the audience hearing me. <laughs> the importance of Sabbath day is just man. If you remove man from, from Sabbath, then the Sabbath don't have value. It's a revelation and it's a secret. So, so why I'm saying that, I want us to have understanding. We know that in the Jewish nation, uh, that they value the Sabbath day, that day number seven. And Bible said that after this is day number seven today, God rested. And I'm opening your eyes to know that the reason why that that account was documented was because of the value, the importance God placed, placed on man. God valued more man so much. So that's why after he created man, he believed that he had gotten a continuity in man. But so many people, so many of us are ignorant of this. And that's why when there are problems around us, even in the present generation where we are in, there are a lot of challenges here and there. And people are complaining. People are, 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 are people abandon themselves and start running back to God. 
Now I want you to see uh, from this light that uh, if there is something staring at you as a challenge and you abandon yourself and start running back to God, you are offending God. So the essence of this teaching today is to reawaken a consciousness about who we are. It is for us to start having an understanding that there is something about man. Man is very precious before God. If you look deep in the account of creation, you will understand better. If you, if you understand how the Jews respect the Sabbath day, it will help you to know the importance that God attached to us. Jesus Christ knew of it. When he was on earth, when the Jews, uh, the, the Pharisees, we are kind of trying to accuse him and say that he defied the law of Sabbath day, he said something striking, which was born from the revelation of what I'm teaching. So, my uh, audience, I want you to have the consciousness God didn't stop creation, God didn't end creation, God uh, didn't stop creating because he was tired. It wasn't tiredness that, that suspended creation after the sixth day. But what just happened was because God believed that all the things that he we still accomplished here on earth, that he has gotten a continuity in man. I want to say something again. I want us to have the understanding that here on earth, man is a gateway. Man is a gateway for spirit. And uh, that's why there is, there is nothing that will happen on earth if man is not involved. Whatsoever that will happen on earth, man must be involved. If a man is not involved in any program of any spirit, that program cannot survive on earth. So man is a gateway for spirit. Whatsoever development, whatsoever advancement that will happen both technological wise and, and economy, political wise, man must be involved. And the involvement of man will come from his personal understanding of himself, of what happens. The book of Genesis is the foundational scripture of this very, this very lecture, and I will soon go into that scripture. And um, I want you to flow alongside with me. I said man is a gateway for spirits, and I've explained it. No spirit, whether positive or negative, any spirit that want to carry out any assignment here on earth must have a human vessel. A man must be involved for a particular purpose or course of a, of a spirit will progress. May that is standing here is a consciousness. I know I'm a vessel. I know I'm an incarnate man of a particular spirit. And that's why I'm talking I'm talking from uh, the spirit I'm, I'm representing is expressing his agenda and mine through me. And that's why anybody hearing me or whosoever that will be part of my ministry, uh, there are things that you can't hear from my mouth because I am constrained by purpose. I am constrained by mandate. I, I have a set boundary. Because I have a consciousness that there is a spirit that is wearing this face. And, and I can only promote the cause of that particular spirit. Hallelujah. So, so, so uh, the, the book of Genesis chapter 1, uh, Genesis chapter 1 is, um, is, a very, is a very interesting scripture that I would not like us to look into. Um, this teaching online uh, will not take us we don't spend much time, so very soon I will be, I'll be wrapping up the message. But I want you to uh, pick things that are meant for you from all that I'm saying. Genesis 1 says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved 
upon the face of the water. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. For And God saw the light that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day. And the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning we are the first day. And God said, Let there be firmament in the midst of the waters. Let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament and divided the waters which was under the firmament from the waters which was above the firmament, and it was so. And God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning we are the second day. I will stop here. But like I said, this course is a course I'm going to run throughout one month by God's grace. From now to the end of February, I'll be looking at creation. I'll be looking uh, at how life is a prerequisite for creation. In the year of ever increasing brightness, I'm very conscious that there is something peculiar, there is something unique. There's something extraordinary about 2021 that God said that this is a year for us as a ministry. is a year of ever-increasing brightness. The last point I made, I said that man is an ordinance. And what does it mean to be ordinance? After saying these few things, I will go ahead to define what creation is in order to lay the foundation for the next course, which will be coming up in the month of February. Man is an ordinance. That's a man is a principle that no spirit can undermine. Any spirit that has a particular program or assignment to carry out on earth, if that spirit undermine the, the value or the importance of man, the assignment of that spirit can't be fulfilled. That's why the first thing that spirit does, when once they have a program they want to carry out on this very planet, and of course, as we continue in this teaching, I will begin to open our eyes to know why the earth is important. In the second course I will be teaching, I will open our eyes. Why the earth is important. The eyes of all them is on the earth. The heaven is facing the earth is for a reason. And the heaven and the earth look at themselves for a reason. I will be, I will be doing, I will be opening our eyes into all this mystery, into all this revelation. There is a reason why after God has created all things, God has handed over the earth to man. There is a reason behind that. And by God's grace, as we join in this course, uh, as the Spirit opens, opens us up, I uh, will be saying it. So man is an ordinance. That's why I'm going to that. Man is an ordinance that can't be ignored. Just like when you hear about ordinance, there's a process that, that commands birth, that commands, that commands the day and the morning. Now, that that process is what is called ordinance, a way of doing things. And if you undermine it, then you can't get the result. So in that order, man is an ordinance. So there is no spirit that will get his desired result if that spirit undermines the value of man. And there is no man, it goes hand in hand, there is no man that will get his desired result if that man undermines the value of our spirits. Now because there, there must be a fellowship between man and the spirit if the face of the earth must change, if there must be an advancement in their life. <laughs> and something just came in, into my spirit and I want to talk a little about it. Now all the people that are great in life understood it, that there is no success, that there, is, there can't be any achievement that any man will have on earth if that man don't receive support from his spirit. That's why 
the religion, so many religion people are here and there, is as a result of this life. All right, let, let me not let me not worry us into that. A, a subsequent cause, I will go into that. So, no purpose of any spirit will be carried out on earth if there is no human vessel, if there is no human ambassador. And that's one of the things that interpret the value of man. If you go to Gen uh, the book of Psalm chapter 8, you know that there is, a there is, there is an argument. There, there was a kind of, a kind of confusion. There, there, is a, there was a kind of envy in that very scripture. When David was, 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 was inspired, David, through understanding of what I'm sharing, came into the meeting of spirit. And he discovered that there was so much jealous of a man. So that place said, what is man that thou art mindful of him and the son of man, that thou do visit him? That spirit, the, the, the value and of the, the understanding that spirit have about us, cause them that in, they, don't, they don't settle in their dwelling. And of course, I will tell whosoever that is hearing me that spirits don't have any dwelling. That's why many people are busy gazing the, uh, the, the atmosphere and the cloud and call it the heaven. I will look at them from eyes of revelation and I will smile. Because I know that they don't, don't, know, they don't understand what is going on. <laughs> All right, I, I'm, I'm wrapping up this, this message today uh, by bringing this consciousness to you. I'm not just teaching, I'm not just, I'm not just uh, telling you stories, I'm not just saying things uh, for saying sake. I'm trying to help someone to have a desired result. The year is quite young, and if there must be a, a, a desired result that we will experience in 2021, all the things I'm saying must be in place. You can't abandon yourself and start looking for things. Any time people abandon themselves and start looking for things, that thing they are looking for will crush them. And that's why a lot of people keep dying. And a, a lot of died without fulfilling their vision, without fulfilling their dreams. Because they abandon themselves and start running for things. The first thing that every intelligence being does is to first of all look for themselves. And a man was a man, it is opportune or privilege to find himself. Then every other thing will be addition. It is a year of ever increasing brightness and I'm excited in my spirit because I know that bright bodies command attraction. So today I am talking that you will depend on your brightness to create. You will depend on the things you have known, first of all, about yourself. Because a, a man that don't know who he is cannot attract any spirit. And so many, so many people are living in accidental destiny because they lack understanding of what I've shared. This is destiny school. And what I'm here to do is to help somebody to, to, to start seeking for himself. Now because without self-seeking, there can't be discovery of destiny. And of course, let me tell somebody that is hearing me today that Destiny is not just a word, and destiny is not a gift. Destiny, every destiny that people enjoy, that's great destiny, they work for it. Like I said last week concerning mind, I said God don't touch men, mind, and I want to come connect to that. Mind, God don't touch people, mind, but rather people build the kind of mind they will possess. And there can be destiny in absence of mind. Because whatsoever a man will form as, as, as a character which will in turn produce destiny must first of all took origin from the mind of the man. And that's why a, a habit first of all is what we create character. Uh, after habit created character, then character will form destiny. So this destiny is plan, that's why I'm talking uh, on this. Uh, I'm talking on this, that how you can assess your destiny and how you can be a man of value, a unique, relevant personality on earth. It is in your personal 
understanding and definition of who you are. And I'm here from the light of God's work to remind you that you are like God. God created you after his image and his right likeness. I've said it uh, when I was telling you about the importance of man. So let me quickly wrap up by telling you that darkness is the storehouse of important treasure. Now, why are we talking about creation? There are things, there are hidden treasures, there are, there are things that their value is not yet known because they have not been harnessed from darkness. Darkness is still, is still keeping them. And it's because of, of all these treasures that darkness is housed. That's why from uh, the point I've made, I said that darkness is the storehouse of treasure. And from where we read, we know that before God started creating now, the first thing he did was to establish light. And men like came, then creation starts. So in year 2021, whatsoever result you are looking for, the expansion of your business, establishment of new business, or whatsoever achievement you want to make, in this very year, it's only life that can guarantee that. And that's the essence of this message. When you hear creation, I'm talking about bringing bringing a solution to a particular problem. And of course, this thing that I'm teaching is the womb of wealth. Now, because a lot of people are busy pursuing money, but money is not meant to be pursued. All the people that will control wealth, they don't pursue, they don't run after money. But what they do is to position, they, they, they position in the midst of light and create what will attract money? Money is meant to be attracted, not to be pursued. Now, all the people that keep pursuing money can't have money. And that's why all the people hear me and hear me very well. Because this is where I'll be wrapping up to continue at next time. All the, all the people that they call poor people are people that are busy pursuing money. And as they keep pursuing money, money will keep running away. <laughs> Somebody that is hearing me, if you desire to be wealthy, I'm giving you a secret of wealth. Try and mind the light, your light. Try and become a bright body. Now, because when that happens, you will cease to look for money. But money will be attracted to you by the reason of the brightness. This is the nature of God. So I want to thank you. I'm in Perimani, I'm I'm stopping here so far. And I want you to tune in next week. Because I'll be coming by God's grace to continue from this very topic. This is a one month course that I'm going to explore as far as year 2021 is concerned. I don't have any other thing that I'm looking at outside the life. And uh, I want you to have this understanding. Jesus Christ came as a, a light to the world. Uh, in John 8, 12, he said, I am the light of the world, that whosoever follow me should not walk in darkness. Jesus forbid walking in darkness. And I want to encourage you, my listeners, in case you don't have the understanding about the man Jesus, I'm giving you opportunity because there can be creation if the light of Jesus is not shining in you. So today is an opportunity for you to have everything. Forsake your former way of looking at it. First of all, how you look at yourself as a person. That's the number one thing I want you to do. This destiny is grow. If your destiny must speak in this very generation and in all eternity, then you need to attach value to yourself. You need to discover who you are. And that can only be achieved when you have opened the door of your heart for Jesus. And as you do, he will come in with his life and then help you to mind your own life. And when that happens, if he's uh, talking about money, talking about whatsoever you desire to have in life, you will have them double. The Lord bless you as you yield your heart, as you yield your soul, as you yield your mind, your thought to be influenced from all the things you are hearing from Emperor Emmanuel Mechizedek, Voice of Everlasting Solution. I want to say, may the Lord bless you as you tune in next week. Can you? Just take this prayer point 
And every day as I finish teaching, I will give a prayer point that you will be praying. Uh, T will come back next week. The prayer I want you to be praying this week is God help me to understand how important life is so that I can depend on it to create. The Lord bless you richly. See you next week. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to back for stopping. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you.